Have you ever wondered how virtual assistants work? How Siri and Alexa passively listens to audio and only starts responding once you say their name? Well, we certainly have. And that's why for our machine learning project, we made Marvin, our own virtual assistant, who's only able to recognize his own name. So I guess he's more of a virtual toddler, really. Um, anyway, using state-of-the-art machine learning architectures such as convolutional and recurrent neural networks, we train models that are capable of detecting the word Marvin among regular speech. To implement these models, we use the TensorFlow Keras API, a framework for creating and training machine learning models in Python. Training the models to distinguish Marvin from other words requires a lot of data. For this, we use the speech commands dataset, which contains thousands of one second audio clips of people saying different words. Let's look at our data pipeline in greater detail. The dataset has around 1,700 positive samples of people saying Marvin and around 68,000 negative samples of other words such as happy, stop and forward. Due to our limited computational resources and the highly disproportionate ratio of negative to positive samples, half of the negative ones were discarded by random selection. We now have 18 times more negative samples than positives. The dataset was split into 60% for training, 20% for validation and 20% for testing. Furthermore, we resample the training data during runtime with a ratio of 1 to 9, which means that on average, the models are fed 9 negatives for every positive sample during training. We found this to be an appropriate ratio, as it ensures that the models learn to distinguish the word Marvin while not being too exposed to false triggers. Audio can be represented in many ways, so we tested two different formats to see which produced the best results. To do so, we needed to do some data pre-processing. Audio is normally visualized as waveforms like this. Hey Marvin, how are you today? Which the model split into one second clips with 80% overlap. However, this is not necessarily the best format to feed our models with. Therefore, we used Fourier transformations to convert the audio waves into spectrograms, which the models can read like images. The spectrogram goes through a Melbank filter and a log transformation to enhance the relevant features. This image has frequencies along the y-axis from lower to higher frequencies. Time is along the x-axis, and the brightness of each pixel represents the strength of the frequency at a given time. By augmenting these spectrograms, more unique training samples can be produced. The two types of augmentations we used were frequency masking, which removes certain frequencies like this, hey Marvin. and time masking, which removes an interval of the spectrogram like this. Hey Marvin. These can also be combined like this. Hey Marvin. Randomly masking the training data makes the model encounter more unique samples by distorting the input image, which also increases model robustness. These two audio formats, the waveform and the spectrogram, are now ready to be processed by the models. We implemented three models to see which one performed better. Here's a quick overview. The two first models are both recurrent neural networks, which are well suited for processing sequential data, and therefore highly relevant as we are working with audio. One of the RNNs takes raw audio as input and is used as a baseline to evaluate the effects of pre-processing. The other RNN uses a pre-processed spectrogram as input. The third model is a convolutional neural network. This works especially well in grid-like data like the LogML spectrogram and is therefore selective. If you want to read more about the three models, please see our paper. The link is in the description. Although the CNN was fastest, the RNN using spectrograms as input was the most accurate model. In order to test the real-world robustness of the RNN, we reached out to some friends from across the world and asked them to say Hey Marvin in their local accents. Let's see how that went. If the word Marvin is detected, parts of the audio wave will be green, like this. Hey Marvin! 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 Shalom Marvin! Salam Marvin! Hey Marvin! Hey Marvin! Shem Shem Marvin! Hey Marvin! Hey Marvin! Hi Marvin! 
Hey, Marvin. Not bad. If you want to read more, please see our paper. Thanks for watching, and a big thanks to our friends.